Hey guys, my name is Shashank and welcome back to this another tutorial and today in this video I'm going to show you and I will try to explain Excel if function in as simple language as possible, right? So if function is just like our day-to-day -day expressions which we use to con which we use to convey our ideas, our thoughts or our decisions, right? For example, I will give you an, a very simple example. For example, if you when you say if I have if I have thousand rupees, then I would buy wireless headphones. If not, then I will buy wired right wired headphones. So this is one expression where we have applied a condition. Then you can apply another condition. If I want to eat Chinese food, then I will go to this certain restaurant. And if I want to eat any local food, then I will go to this restaurant. So you have applied this condition which we call if and else condition, if else, right? And in this uh, tutorial, we will also see that how to apply this real life expression or condition in Excel and try to make our work and day-to-day -day activities on Excel as smooth as possible. So to understand Excel if function, we will try to uh, break down its syntax into three uh, major sections. If you can see, this is the syntax, this is the if condition. It is saying that if cell B9 is greater than or equal to 65, then the result should be pass. If not, then fail. So this is the condition which we want if the condition is true. And this is the condition which we want when the condition is false, right? So if condition works on true and false. So if you can see, this is the syntax. The first one is logical test. What do you want to test? What is that condition, right? And then what do you want if that condition becomes is true? Or what do you want if that condition is false? So these are the three major sections of if statement. And you can see the purpose of if is to test a specific condition, then it returns your value. And then this is the syntax. And now we will try to uh, apply this if condition in a very simple example, right? But if you see, uh, but if you are not uh, very comfortable with Excel formulas, I will just uh, tell you that how to apply Excel formulas. So first of all, whenever you try to ex uh, apply any formulas, you have to start that formula with the is equal to sign, right? And then you can apply any formula, for example, sum then open parenthesis what are the those numbers you want to sum so you can select any cells and the value in those cells will be considered as numbers so i want to uh, add this cell and comma i want to add this cell so these are the two cells which i want to add and then press enter the result is zero because there are no values so if i add one here and two here you will see the answer is three because i am uh, adding these two numbers here, right? So this is how you apply formulas. But if you can see that I have already applied is equal to sign in this section, but the result is uh, result is nothing. It is simply displaying the formula, no results. So how do you do that when you apply formula and the, you just want to display the formula and not the results? You just simply apply this apostrophe sign, right? Before your formula, you can see now this is just a statement it's just a value it's not a formula right so whenever we try to apply formulas you, you have to keep in mind that there are two types of data in excel the first one is numbers and second one is the strings strings are the text values and whenever we try to uh, add text or strings you have to keep them under inverted commas. As you can see, the password is a string, it's a text. So you have to keep it under inverted commas so that Excel can identify that what type of value you are using. So if, if I'm using numbers here, I have used 65. So it is without inverted commas. So it is understood by Excel that what value, what is, what value is number and what value is a string or text. So these are the two terms which you have to keep in mind. Whenever you try to add data or text, keep in, 
keep it under the inverted commas and whenever you add numbers you can leave it without inverted commas right so now let's move on to our very first simple example of if how to apply if so this is the one simple example which you can apply uh, to calculate whether a person has uh, passed his examinations or not right so if you can see the score of greater than 70 is passed which means that if any person who is scoring more than 70 percent right is should be considered as pass so the result should be displayed as pass and if the result is below 70 then it should uh, display as false so we will try to apply a formula here the if formula so <coughs> double click press is equal to if open parenthesis so what is the value which you want to test i want to well uh, uh, test the value under this cell C17 right so if C17 is greater than or is equal to what 70 then the result should come as pass and if not then the result should be fail close you can see the result is pass because this person has scored 92 marks so if I change the values here, if I go 50, you will see the result is fail. See, now you want to apply this formula to all these cells. So what you can do is you can just simply select this plus sign and drag and drag down your formula to below cells. Now you will see all those cells has been turned into pass and fail. So this is how you can uh, apply formulas in Excel, right? So in this formula, uh, we have added a number, a specific number that is 70. But what if I don't want to add an absolute value or a fixed value, I just want to add a cell and whatever the value I feed in that cell should be used as an input for this if function. So for that, I can do simply one thing. I will go to this option, right? I will add that passing score is displayed here whatever the score whatever the number which i feed in this cell should be taken as the input of passing score just double click here and then delete this value and click here now what does it mean it means that if c17 which means this value is greater than or is equal to the value inside this cell that is e14 the result should be calculated applying the conditions so press ok you will see fail why because i have added 50 so if i add 40 here the result will turn into pass because the passing score is 40 and that person has scored 50. so this is how you can uh, add fixed values and variables in excel if function now what do you do if you have to drag down this function this formula here you have to make a small change here i will tell you what is that so if you just click here and drag and uh, drag and uh, drag down your formula into the below cells you will see you have the same result why because every time when you drag down your formula this cell value keeps on changing right here it has taken the value of e15 and if i go to this here it has taken the value of e16 but i don't want to change the value i want the value of uh, the passing score to be fixed i want a fixed cell so how do you do that simply go to this option and where you have applied e14 just applied dollar sign sorry dollar sign before e and 14 so which means that the value which you have added here is absolute value it's not a variable which means the excel will take a fixed cell it will not change it but the values may vary now just drag down your formula and you will see the results see why because all these people are having score above 40 so my passing score is 70 now the result has been changed to fail pass fail pass and whatever you want to do so this way you can apply excel if function in your day-to-day -day activities in your excel sheets and make your work more automate and more, which, you, which you can use to filter out your data right 
so that's all today for today's video and if you like this video don't forget to like share and subscribe this channel and keep coming back for more tutorials on excel thank you very much